Hello YouTubers and welcome to Larry Under Pressure. Today I'm fixing the first of three dishes that I'm making that'll be great snack items for the upcoming Super Bowl and any other time you might have company over or need snack items. The one fixed today is going to be fixed in the slow cooker. I'll actually be using the, fin the Ninja Speedy, but you can use a crock pot or any kind of slow cooker you want to fix the same dish. I'll have links to the Speedy and the slow cooker uh, in the directions below this video. Um, what I'm fixing today is called, a, I call it, a cherry pineapple pie cake. And you'll see why. It takes about three hours. It's very simple, very few ingredients. And we're going to get started right now and go ahead and get it cooking. So hang on. I've started by putting a little bit of butter flavored cooking spray in the bottom of the pot so that there won't be any sticking. And I'm going to start by pouring in a can of cherry pie filling right into the bottom of the pot. And spread that out so it's spread evenly across the bottom. Looks like it covered almost perfectly. Our next move is we're going to put a whole can of crushed pineapple and it's been drained. It's just the pineapple. So we're going to spread that around on top of the cherries. If I can get it all out of the can, there we go. Let's spread that around. Smells good. Smells kind of tropical-y. I haven't made this before, but I've seen the recipe and several variations of it online, and I thought that might be a good thing for us to fix on this channel. Next thing I'm going to do, I have a bag of white cake mix. It's just Betty Crocker, Betty Crocker cake mix that I got at Walmart. So I'm going to take that and spread it around on top of the pineapple. And then I'm going to pat it down so it makes a nice firm footing on top. My hands are washed and cleaned. Pat, patting down the white cake mix. So far it's pretty easy, isn't it? Next thing I'm going to do, I've cut up a whole stick of, of butter, of salted butter, and I'm going to put it around on the top, just kind of evenly space it. <clears throat> for moisture again this is an entire stick and I've cut it up in about maybe half to three quarter inch cubes pieces this one's stuck together there we go And the last thing I'm going to do, and this is optional, of course, it's all optional, you, you can make it your own, is I have some coconut, some shredded coconut that I'm going to put on there. It's still a little bit frozen, so it's not breaking up real well, but it'll be fine. Again, make it your own. You could put some kind of nuts on top of it if you wanted to or anything you wanted to enhance the flavor. But I thought the coconut might be good on there. All right, we're all set. Let's get ready to cook. Turn the speedy to slow cook so it becomes like a crock pot, a slow cooker. We're gonna run it on high and we're gonna do it for, we're gonna set it for four hours which is the lowest that the speedy can go, but it's probably going to be ready in three. So we're going to put it on four, give it a start, and let it run, and we'll check it again in a couple hours, and 
look at it together and decide what we're going to do. Let it go on some more or if it's done. So we'll check back with you then. In the last step, I forgot to do something that's important. So I'm back on to, to do it again. It's only been cooking for about four or five minutes. When you finish putting the butter on top of the cake mix, take the juice that you saved when you drained the pineapple and pour that evenly over the top of the cake mix and the butter. If you don't do that, it would be very dry and it probably wouldn't be good at all. So put that on there and we'll let it continue cooking. It's been one hour now, and we're going to open it and check and see how it's progressing. Yeah, that's looking good. Looking good. We'll check back in a little bit. We're at the two hour mark. It's been two hours, so let's check and see what it looks like now. Oh yeah, it's beginning to brown a little bit. I think by the next 30 to 40 minutes it'll probably be done. So we'll check back at that time and take another look. We're at the three and a half hour mark. Let's take a look and see. And yeah, it looks like we're done. Um, looks real good. Very nice. Good texture. Good look. So. I'm going to take some of this out and plate it up, and we're going to give it a taste and take a closer look at it. Frankly, all this needs now to be perfect is a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. It's still very hot, but that's what it looks like on the plate. It plated up beautifully. Let me take a taste of it and see what it tastes like. Mmm. Real good. You'd never know that was fixed in a in a crock pot or in a slow cooker. The tastes of the, the cherries and the pineapple together with the butter and the cake mix is just amazing. Mm. Real good. I think your company would love it, and so would your family. If you enjoy what you see on this channel and enjoy this dish, I would encourage you to go to the text and the directions and the recipe below. And while you're down there, click on, on the subscribe and the like and also on the share button. And uh, when I load new videos, you'll be the first to see them. Also keep on the lookout for the next couple days because I'm going to load two more videos for some snack items that are great for game day. So enjoy them. Thanks for visiting Larry Under Pressure, and we'll see you next time.